How you doing? Dr. Wood here. Uh, we're going to go over a patient that we just took care of. This was a 63-year-old man with BPH. Been struggling with symptoms of BPH for uh, several years. He, his IPSS score is 22. And he has uh, all the symptoms of BPH, including voiding systems, uh, symptoms and uh, storage symptoms like frequency and urgency. So he came in for a prostate artery embolization. Here we see uh, the right iliac artery angiogram. And the prostate artery is this little artery coming out of the internal pudendal and going along here. This is the right prostatic artery. It can be interesting to watch these angiograms run as they're being done. This is what it looks like. We're injecting contrast dye. You can see how the contrast gets flows through the arteries and perfuses through the tissue, it gets washed out by new blood coming in. Uh, so what we do is we freeze these and we can click through them and we can freeze this to see that little prostate artery coming off there. So now we're going to send a little microcatheter into that right prostatic artery and that's what we've done here. Now we've got a little microcatheter that's gone deep into the prostatic artery. We're injecting contrast dye. This is pretty small. It's a pretty small artery, so um, it's hard to see. There's the tip of the catheter, and this is the prostate. You can just see a little bit of contrast blush in the prostate there at the end. And let's bring the bones back in, see how we can, we can add and subtract the bones to help uh, us see where we are. That's an ideal prostate location right there. Now we're gonna, we treated that side with the beads. We're gonna go to the other side. This is the left intral iliac angiogram. You can see the contrast going in and getting washed out by the blood flow. And you can see the prostatic artery right there. Now we're gonna freeze. And there's that left prostatic artery coming off the internal pudendal artery. We're going to go into that with the microcatheter, and that's what we've done here. And actually, we got a better, after giving nitroglycerin, we've got a better angiogram here. We're injecting in the left prostatic artery, and you can see the blush, the capillary phase blush in the prostate tissue right there. Let's bring the bones in. Yes, an ideal location for the prostate. We'll let that wash out and from here we gave the beads closed up all those all those branches into the prostate and completed the treatment this took 45 minutes the patient's doing well